Hey guys, Alex here from Sheffield Futures. This is episode four of Four Minute Fire and today's video is going to be all about cover letters. Okay, the format of the video is going to be like this. So we're going to talk about what a cover letter actually is and then we're going to talk about why have it. What's it going to do for you and why are we really seriously advising you write one to go with any application that you write in future. Okay, so what's a cover letter? So if you think of your CV as ant, a cover letter is deck. Seriously, it, they go that well together, okay? So a cover letter is a document, a one page document, it's a short letter, and you will find out the name of the person who is recruiting, or you would just say, dear sir or madam, you would do three paragraphs, and at the end you put your sincerely, your name. And inside that letter, you are gonna basically say, I would like to apply for the post of this at your company, I would be great for your company because, and then that's all it's going to be really short, simple, snappy. And in that you're going to draw out the skills that you know they want. You're going to talk about how you've done a bit of research on their company and how you will be the greatest employee that they can possibly find. Okay. That's what it is. And it's something that the employer will read before considering reading your CV. Okay. Why though? Why do that? Why go to the effort of writing out a lovely professional letter when you could just hand your CV anyway, right? Right? On any application, you can just send a CV. Some of them don't even ask for a cover letter. So why do it? Okay, this is why. As I said before, it couples with a CV. It's expected. All right? A cover letter and a CV go really well together and every employee, uh, sorry, every employer will be looking for a cover letter when they have CV. They'll have many, many CVs on their desk when they're, when they're recruiting for a role. But you know what? Out of 20 CVs, maybe four will have an actual cover letter with it. Which do you think they're going to read first? The ones that where someone has just sent a CV, like any other job, or the ones where someone's written the, taken the time to write a tailored letter to them about why they want the job? It's clear. You're going to put yourself on the top of the pile. That's the first thing you're going to do just by having a cover letter. Okay? The next, and these are two really, really clean and clear point, points. It shows effort and it shows professionalism, okay? You could spend an hour writing that cover letter and it will, it will bring out your skills and it will show, you know, you've taken the time to really think about it and tailor it to their job. They're, the employer reading that is going to think, this person's really taken the effort. This is the kind of person I want on my team. This is the kind of employee that we need at our organisation. Someone who takes the initiative does everything they do with thought and puts time and effort into it, okay? So already you're telling the employer that. You're also showing them that you're a professional, that you take yourself seriously. You know how to submit a proper application and you're putting it with a, a, a cover letter because you wanna come across like you do things right, okay? So you work hard and you do things right. They are two huge, huge benefits you can already get, you know, that you can have to your application before they've even read your CV, okay? So really, really bear that in mind. I really strongly recommend that you make a cover letter for those reasons, okay? Here, you can tailor it. So just like the CV, you can look through the job description and have a good understanding of exactly what kind of skills that employer is looking for. And then you can tailor your, your cover letter to that. So my name is, I want to apply for this role and I think I'd be a great employee for you because, and then you could give some really good examples, demonstrate your skills in that cover letter. That's all it needs to be. It's just an acknowledgement of your skills. It's a quick snappy highlight of what's best of you and why you should get that job. And then you finish it off yours sincerely and close it. And that's it. Really professional, short and sweet, but just tells that employer a lot about you before they've even read the CV, okay? And this is all about standing out. This was the key point in your CV. This is now the key point in your cover letter. And I really, really recommend you take the time to write that cover letter out because you are gonna put yourself way above many other applicants when you go for jobs. You'll see a link below to a template for a cover letter. It's really well written. All you need to do is tailor it. So we've already got you halfway there. And if you need any issue, if you have any issues printing that or getting that ready, please get in contact with us at Sheffield Futures. We'd really like to help you out with that. All right, good luck.